Welcome back, boys and girls. Recently, I had the opportunity to sit down and chat with Steve Huynh. He's a principal software engineer who works at Amazon. He's been there for over 20 years. He runs the YouTube channel, A Life Engineered. He talks about mostly career growth in terms of um, in the software development field. Recently, I had the chance to sit down and talk with him. We talked for, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half, and I wanted to chop up that chat because there's a lot of really valuable things that we talked about. In this video, I uh, chopped up a piece of the, the chat that we had. In this piece, it talks about my life, how I transitioned from a physics student to a software engineer, uh, to an entrepreneur, because you know I run my, my, my business, my online business, CodingWithMitch.com. Go to CodingWithMitch.com, by the way, if you want to learn how to uh, build Android apps, how to learn how to become a, a software engineer in the Android field. And now, after six years, you know I work at Square, um, the online payment processing platform. I'm sure you've seen their devices around in restaurants and stores and small businesses, sometimes bigger businesses. Uh, anyway, so let's go listen to the chat where I talk about kind of how I transitioned from a physics student to a software engineer, uh, also an entrepreneur, I guess, a lot of things. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. So I didn't have a ton of time. It looks like you do a bunch of like Android stuff. Yeah. Like, what's your What's your channel about? Like, what's your story? Oh, my story. Okay. Um, so I, oh, let's go way back, I guess. Why yeah. not? <laughs> I was born on a cold day. <laughs> you got time? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a serious, but not, also not serious question. Um, so I, I was uh, in school. I did physics and okay. um, I did, I didn't do any coding. I took like two, like two coding classes. I took, I took a Java yep. class and a C++ class because it was required for the, for the degree. And um, where did you go to school? Uh, UFV in Abbotsford. I'm Canadian. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a, um, I guess you'd say smaller university in the city where I grew up, Abbotsford. That's in British Columbia? Yeah, British Columbia. Yeah, okay, I'm in Seattle. So Cool. I thought it was Seattle. I couldn't remember if you said San Francisco yeah. or Seattle. Yeah, so we're like two and a half hours away, something okay, like that. Okay, right. um, Yeah, so I did that. I was in my last year, and there was probably, or I was, I was almost in my last semester, actually. I think it was December. And I was going to graduate in April or something. And I was like, I had like a crisis. And I was like, what the hell am I going to do with yeah. with this degree? <laughs> and I was like looking around at jobs and I, and I was asking teachers and things. And and I'm like, what do you do with a physics, physics degree? And the, and the general answer I kept getting was like, well, you're, yeah. you just figure things out. And that's like, that's like how you market yourself. And I'm like, okay, that tells me like nothing. Great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a few people would say like, programming, software engineering. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I, I thought it was like, I didn't think you could make a lot of money. I thought it was just like a thing that nerds would do because they yep. like to be on computers and they wanted to continue being on computers. Yep. And, um, but then I started doing it because I, I always thought it was fun. Like I really enjoyed it with the two classes that I took. I thought it was super fun. And, mm -hmm. but I just didn't pursue it because I was like, what's the point of this? I'm not gonna make any money. And um, but then I started doing it and then I, I created the YouTube channel in like my last semester of school. Basically, when did you create that? Uh, you... That would have been I think it was like January 2016. OK. OK, so you're about like six years or so. Yeah, okay. approximately. Okay. Um, yeah, but I, I went pretty hard on it. Like I, I like I said, I enjoyed it. So I was really going in and I started making videos because I, I 88. I just noticed how many videos you make. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. that's not even, so I have the YouTube videos yeah. and then I, I worked for a website called Pluralsight for a year. Um, Pluralsight.com. It's like an online educating platform. Okay. And I made 10 courses for them in a year. And so there's like there's hundreds there's on like all day. Yeah. Filming. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so there's hundreds on there. And then my website has videos also that are not on YouTube. There's hundreds on nice. there. Um, yeah, I got a lot of videos. So it's like so funny. It's like I have like 12 videos and you have like 680 plus like this whole back catalog. on this. Other yeah, for sure. Over a thousand, like lots of yeah. lots of time in front of the camera for sure. Nice. That's great. Yeah. So anyway, that's how I that's how I started learning. I started making videos on what I was learning and um, and then, uh, yeah, eventually I, I worked after I got a job in IT when I graduated uh -huh. and it was it was I was just like an Terrible. analyst, you know, in support. <laughs> It yeah. was not fun. And I kept doing my my thing. And then eventually I built I built my website, I think, you know, maybe 2017, halfway into 2017 or something like that. 
and um it's codingwithmitch.com and then i and then i had free courses on there and then i was like you know what? i'm gonna make a paid course and i made it like five bucks and i put up a paid course and it did you need, you need it you need to charge way more money <laughs> no no now now it's way more yeah but like yeah. that was my first one and i'm like let's just see if i can make a buck you know like let's make some yeah. money and it was it was pretty successful it was great i got great feedback nice. And then that's when I, I talked to my wife, who wasn't my wife at the time, it was my girlfriend. And yeah. I was like, well, can, can you like pay our bills if I quit working? And nice. yeah, and she's like, yeah, let's do it. And so I just like, oh, that was a, such a terrible year though. Oh my God, that was torture. Oh, man. I worked so hard. Just going out on your own. Yeah. yeah, I worked so hard. It definitely, like our relationship suffered. Like it was terrible because I just worked. Like I did nothing else. I didn't, yeah, it was, it was rough, but it paid off, you know. I ended up getting the job for Pluralsight. They paid, you know, I made more th there than I did my job. So boom, that covers yep. my expenses. And then I'm, and then eventually I said, you know, fuck Pluralsight because they were trying to screw me around and they weren't paying me, I think, what I was worth. And so I just started yep. publishing on my website and yeah, never looked back. It's been good. That's cool. Yeah.